What makes you feel safe? Talking to my family, talking to your family makes you feel safe. Yeah, they're safe and I'm safe and everything. Scenarios, they're, they're no joke. They're pretty high speed, they're loud, and it requires those of us that are taking this training to really step back listen to this person, try to ascertain their needs and meet them where they are. For the past week, Ravalli County first responders have been learning how to best handle mental health crisis calls. And see if I can get them down. Okay. Tree, okay? Okay. We're teaching officer safety and of course empathy. We are seeing people on their worst days and we really want to be empathetic and um, kind and genuine because we know that that's going to go a long way. They've been working through real life situations with actors. You're in the jail and, and you want to talk to people. You want to get to know them, figure out what's going on. That's all that's about. Which offers the opportunity to sharpen situational awareness skills. Recognizing early on that it's a mental health crisis versus moving in with some kind of enforcement. Plus, the classes are connecting individuals from different emergency services, including social work and the Red Cross. We're bringing together all of our agencies, all of our partners uh, across the community so that we can use each other and really respond when it's appropriate and get them any assistance or help that they need. You probably can't put a value on, on having that relationship before you need it. In Victor, Emily Brown, MTN News.